Hello everybody, so I wanted to do um, another shout outs plus answering your comments video. If you guys don't know what this is, I just go through, choose some comments or choose just random people to give shout outs to. Um, I will do this ever so often. So definitely leave your comment down below. You never know when I will just answer you in a video instead of answering you through the typing on the computer. <laughs> Okay, so I only have a few. So the first person is Awesome Wad. Uh, they asked, how did you and Crystal meet? So if you guys do not know, Crystal is my girlfriend. We have been together almost three years. Our anniversary is actually October 14th. So I'm super, super excited for that. Um, we actually met online. At the time, I was in a relationship. Um, me and the person I was in a relationship with, we would go online to meet friends because that is also how I met the person I was in a relationship with but then I started living with her and um we still had you know the the profiles and stuff like that so I would you know go online to meet friends like I said and I added crystal this is a website called moco space I no longer go on there I have no reason to anymore um because the reason why I wanted friends back then is because even in my relationship then I felt kind of lonely. With Crystal, I don't. So anyways, let's get back to that. Um, the website is called Moco Space. I would add people and stuff like that. And Crystal, I added her, I guess. And she sent me a, f um, a message. She just said, hey, how are you? Or something like that. And we just started talking. And she actually knew how to hold a conversation. She was really nice. She did flirt with me a little. I tried to explain to her. I was in a relationship. I'm not like that. I do not cheat. Um, I didn't want to cheat on my girlfriend, etc., etc. So, um, as time went on, the relationship I was currently in was really just going downhill. I went through a lot of abuse mentally and physically. Um, the relationship I was in was just extremely unhealthy and I knew it at the time but I felt kind of like I was locked in a cage and I didn't know how to get out of it. I was confused, I felt trapped and stuff like that and Crystal was there for me and she made me realize what true love was because I did fall in love with her. And this might sound bad and crazy and weird but with the, permi with the permission of the girl I was with she allowed Crystal to come and meet me. So Crystal came and meet me met me whatever <laughs> uh she lived across the country and she came over to visit me and it was just I don't know we had sparks and it just I I honestly never felt so happy in my life and everything just was perfect and I mean I felt bad for the girl I was in the relationship with but things were just not working out so when crystal left i was literally devastated i was like oh my god like is this even real life right now it was just the worst ever like i knew i was about to go back to the girl i was with and we were just miserable and a couple months went on and crystal and i continued talking my current girlfriend knew i was in love with crystal um, it was just like this weird thing. I never thought I'd be in a position like that because it was just weird. I honestly, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. And, um, oh, so things got worse with my current girlfriend, but things got better with Crystal. So it was very strange. Crystal will constantly say, um, why don't you just be with me? Why don't you live with me? And her dad on actually several occasions offered me to come move here but I was like I can't I felt like I said I felt trapped I was in an unhealthy relationship that was very like just I felt trapped it was just horrible but um my current girlfriend came home from school one day and she told me that she really liked some other girl and that they actually kissed and for some reason I don't know what happened but it kind of just more so snapped me into reality. Like, I'm in a relationship with a relationship with somebody. I'm living with somebody. And we're just not connected. Like, I, 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 I wasn't... I, I don't want to be too TMI, but this is just all the truth. I wasn't, like, romantically interested in her. I wasn't attracted in her. She was more so, like, my best friend. And um, I just... I, I went crazy. I was like, why are we doing this? Like, I, I literally went insane. Um, I told my current girlfriend's mom everything that was going on. And she was, like, happy 
about the fact that me and her daughter were having issues because me and her mom, like, we did not get along at all. It was just an unhealthy thing. Her mom would throw things at me and call me names. Her boyfriend would actually threaten to kill me and just, it was just this wh horrible thing. So Crystal literally was like the most friendliest, nicest person I've ever talked to in my life and she, she's beautiful and just everything was, I knew would be perfect. So I was like, you know what, Crystal, I need to take you up on the offer. I'm done. I, I broke up with blank. I don't want to say her name. And, um... Next thing I knew, her parents were allowing me to move here. So I met her online, and in a way, she was like an angel sent from heaven. Like, honestly, she protected me from the, like, the worst place ever. Like, I just was so... I was just in a horrible relationship. Uh, don't get me wrong. Crystal and I are not perfect. We have our issues. That's... We've lived together for three years now, and of course that's gonna, you know, happen. But I love Crystal more than I've ever loved anybody or anything in my whole life. I feel like I made the best choice, and now I feel kind of emotional because a lot of people say, you know, online relationships don't work. That's just, you know, but honestly, not only did I find my lover, the love of my life, but I found my best friend, and that is how I met Crystal. So that is a really really long answer but thank you so much awesome wad for asking that question if you guys were ever curious so that is exactly what happened okay so my next shout out is actually for sarah b lynn because she asked me what do you use on your hair it always looks like silk okay so thank you so much today it probably looks like raggedy ann came here to visit it's not very silky today but that's okay so i wrote down kind of a few things that i do just to give advice uh, since you're asking um, when you did ask that I was using herbal essence smooth collection um, I use random shampoos and conditioners I never stick with just one um, once a bottle empties I'll go to a different one so I never ever stick with one so at the time I was using that I just recently bought Pantene so it's like a repair Pantene so I will be using that um, so a little bit about how I take care of my hair and stuff like that. Okay, I just want to say I wash my hair like once a week, sometimes twice. I know that is insane for a lot of people. A lot of people actually just can't do that. Like my girlfriend, she has to wash her hair every single day. But I'm a firm believer that you do not need to do that. Your hair will soon adapt to you not washing it every single day. Yes, shower every single day. But you do not have to wash your hair every single day. Um, so, by doing that, that means I don't brush my hair every single day. I probably brush my hair once or twice. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird. Once or twice a week. Um, the reason why I do these things is because I feel like you can really, really mess with your hair by brushing it all the time. Um, it'll cause more split ends faster. It'll cause your hair to be drier, especially by washing your hair. It'll cause your hair to be drier and more just kind of brittle. I, that's the best way to explain it. Don't get me wrong. I do have myself some split ends. But I try my hardest to, you know, shy away from things that would cause that. Like, I don't straighten my hair. I used to straighten my hair every single day when I was uh, in high school. But I do not straighten my hair. I don't blow dry it. When I do wash my hair, um... I use shampoo and conditioner. Those things are not natural things. So you're putting chemicals into your hair. So that's probably the reason why it's not good to use that every single day. I never use hairsprays. I don't use gels. I, I don't use anything. And to dry my hair, I literally just let it dry on its own. Um, I don't know. My hair is... It's very, very virgin hair. I mean, it's a born-again version because, again, I used to wash my hair every single day. I used to um, brush it every single day. Um, I would straighten it every single day, but not anymore. So my hair has gotten a lot healthier because of that. And you guys might also be shocked. I probably get my hair trimmed, like, every two years. Like, that's just my way of handling my hair. Uh, my hair is not gross. 
I know it would seem like it would be because I do not wash it as often as probably like the normal person. Um, so this is my hair after it hasn't been washed for, um, I want to say maybe three days. So I haven't washed my hair for three days and this is how it looks. So I don't know. So that's just my opinion. You don't have to do it exactly like how I do it, but you can take some of my advice and, um, yeah, thank you for the compliment. That really is sweet of you. So my next shout out goes to the Cusimanos. Ugh. I am like terribly sorry. That is actually, I'm assuming their last name. It's spelled C-U-S-I-M-A-N-O-S. -S. I am really, really, really bad at um, pronouncing last names. So I am so sorry that I butchered that 110%. So this is actually a YouTube, uh, they're vloggers, but they're also overweight like me and they actually um, are on a weight loss journey and they're vlogging daily. They're trying to vlog daily. They are so, they're just so lovely to watch. Like, I love them so much. I'm so happy they decided to join YouTube. Um, they're just so friendly and they're entertaining. And they really genuinely seem like fantastic people. Um, we have shared a few comments recently and they just seem wonderful. And I definitely, definitely 150,000% recommend you watching their videos if you watch mine for vlogs and because I am obese because they are on a weight loss journey as well. So um, I think that's all the shout outs I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I will definitely do more shout outs in the future. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.